Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Skylanders Figure Review. In this series I'll be talking about the figures for the Skyland Spyro's Adventure. Not necessarily the game, but I will be doing a review on the game later. But the first character that I wanted to talk about, as you can see right here, is Spyro the Dragon. Now, I want to show you the, in this series, I want to be showing you the artwork and, you know, what kind of goes into the actual figures themselves as being a figure collector. So let's look at the card first here for Spyro. As you can see, you know, it has, you know, he's a typical dragon. A lot of, there have been some people that have complained about the way Spyro looks, but I personally kind of like the way he looks. He's got kind of a purplish color with, you know, burnt orange wings and yellowish underbelly. And let me, I mean, and let me show you the figure right here. Now, these figures have done a lot of attention to detail. I mean, you can even see detail. It's like the veining between the wings and the individual scales and the spines along the back. Tail is good quality and the paint apps are pretty tight on these with only a few minor problems. But, you know, they keep it in good detail. Now, some people have particularly complained about the face right here, about him being sort of puggish or impish, but yeah, teach their own, I guess. And you can see the brow line on here too. Plenty of detail with the raised claw and everything. And this is, oops, sorry. This is a, you know, Spyro is a magic-based Skylander. Therefore, he has the magic base which is kind of a bunch of triangles into a geodesic dome with a lot of symbols in them and a sort of a tarnished bronze paint. Now, right here on mine, there was a little bit of the wash on the paint. But other than that, it's, it's a remarkable little figure, as you can see. This is one of the ones that comes with the game, Skylands Adventure. If you get the game... You will get this, unless you get the uh, one for the 3DS, which you will get Dark Spyro, which is the same Spyro, but in a different color scheme. Now, I mean, they even go as far as the detail. I'm putting the rings on the horns and little details in the horns. I don't know if you can see that, but, well, the wings are a little flexible, but... I think, you know, this will be a, a good demonstration. I mean, a good piece for your collection. Even though it comes with it, everybody's going to have it. And as always, have fun and keep gaming.